Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 43 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at uh, two machines that take items from other mods and convert them into resources that you can use in Rotary Craft, and that's the liquid distillery and the steel purifier. So first we're going to look at the steel purifier because it's the easier, simpler uh, machine, and then we're going to look at the liquid distillery. So the steel purifier is crafted with oh, there's phone. four steel ingots, three base panels, a redstone, and iron bars. Gives you the steel purifier. So uh, I didn't use that game mode thing. So what the steel purifier uh, does is exactly what it says. Uh, it takes uh, steel from other mods and converts it into HSLA steel. So you've got to do a little bit just like you do with the blast furnace. You've got to heat it up to 600 C. So I've got some lava underneath it. And it gives you gets power from any side, and it takes 16 kilowatts, and 64 newton meters of torque. I'm pretty sure that's a requirement, torque requirement here. So you also have to give it gunpowder and sand in these two slots, and then you put steel in these uh, five slots here. And the kinds of steel that you can turn into HSLA are railcraft steel, calcavia clavia core steel and Tinker's Construct Steel. There's about six types of steel ingots in the Monster Mod Pack. These are the only ones that work. You can't use Ender IO Electrical Steel. You can't use... Uh, there was another one, but I did one work either. So you put it in there, and this ticks through, and turns it into steel ingots. There you go. That's what it does. Pretty simple. Um, I imagine give it more speed, it'll run faster, but uh, that's, that's pretty much it for the steel purifier. Very simple machine, um, good if you're transitioning from uh, railcraft into rotary craft and you've got a, a whole bunch of railcraft steel or something you want to turn into rotary craft steel, it's a good use for it, so there we go. That's the steel purifier. The liquid distillery has uh, quite a few more uses, more recipes with it, so it's crafted with four base panels, two iron ingots, two glass panes, and a mixer. And it looks like this. It's a lot like the um, fuel enhancer. Remember that? That turns the buildcraft fuel into jet fuel. It's a lot like that. It looks this, uh, very similar, uh, except this middle part is black. You, you put uh, liquids into the bottom, they get uh, transfer, uh, processed up to the top, and then you pump it out. So it takes a bunch of different kinds of liquids and turns them into other liquids for rotary craft. So for instance, you can use oil drums. I'm just using drums for this. So this is Buildcraft oil in here. The amount of power that the liquid... This, oh, by the way, liquid distillery does not have a GUI. It's just a block. You have to pump things in and pump them out. You cannot... There's no... There's no GUI. It requires uh, very little uh, in the way of power. Only 1024 kilowatts, but does require it at 512 newton meters of torque. So that would be like this at two radians per second so it runs pretty darn slow at minimum power so you may want to give it you know just give it this is only a DC electric engine so you may as well give this a steam engine which would be 16 times the power which uh, once you've made sure that the torque is at minimum give it all the rest of it in speed this should go pretty quick so let me just uh, whack this fluid duct and get it to work so we've got some oil going in we filled the bottom slot with bottom tank with buildcraft oil and it is turning that buildcraft oil into rotary craft lubricant that's pretty cool now there is a ratio on this and the ratio of this is for every millibucket of oil you get six millibuckets of lubricant so you get six times as much lubricant out of this as you put oil in which is pretty nice all right turn that off clear out the uh, tanks just by breaking the blocks because it's the easiest way to do it and we'll move on to the other use for this so I, oh by the way I've also tested other uh, drums that have oil in them if you type oil in here you end up getting in monster you get cooking oil creosote oil seed oil fish oil none of that stuff that uh, works in this uh, distillery as far as I know the only thing you can use to convert into in, into lu lubricant is the uh, Buildcraft oil. Okay, but it does have other uses. Uh, if you remember the uh, version 25 update, um, it added some, uh, it changed the way that certain things worked. And uh, one of the things that it's done is that um, 
you can no longer put things like ethanol from other mods straight into the rotary craft engines. You have to convert it. And the way you do that is by using this liquid distillery. So we can put three types of uh, fuel in here. Um, actually, no, you, I don't think we can put biomass in here. Why do I have this biomass drum for? No, you can't do that. It's ethanol from forestry, which is orange, and biofuel from Mine Factory Reloaded, which is purple. Let me open up the uh, page here. These are the valid conversions. So we see oil at one millibucket to six millibuckets of lubricant. Fluid.bioethanol. I'm assuming this is the ethanol from forestry. Uh, it's a straight one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, all you're doing is converting their ethanol into rotary craft ethanol. Um, straight one-to-one. -one. And then the biofuel from uh, Minecraft Reloaded is a two-to-one. Uh, two so, well, one-to-two. So you have to put, I think, a I forget. I don't know which w way those numbers go. But for every two millibuckets of biofuel you put in, you only get one millibucket of ethanol out. And I assume that that's done because you, the biofuel from Mine Factory Reloaded, you can produce so much of it uh, so easily. Let's uh, just show you how this works. We'll just stick that on there, power it, and, and give it a whack. So we're filling this up with uh, my, uh, forestry ethanol, and it is being slowly turned into liquid ethanol for rotorcraft. Now I know if you use the fermenter w method of producing ethanol, you actually get the crystals straight up, whereas uh, here you're getting the liquid. Um, so uh, you can pump this liquid obviously straight into your uh, engines, but if you want to use it for jet fuel, you have to have crystals. Um, as of version 25, you can now use the the uh, the um, oh yeah, this, oh, by the way, when you're pumping liquids out of this thing, uh, you gotta do it at the top. No. Don't connect to the drum, connect to the... We can break the drum now. Really? How am I supposed to get the ethanol out? The fuel lines won't connect to it. What? that. Hmm. I didn't actually test that before, but uh, I'm having trouble getting it out of there. Maybe there's a uh, different kind of pipe I can use. This is not, I don't think this is for uh, this application, but I gotta figure out how to get the flu uh, ethanol out of this thing. Well, this fuel line won't connect to the uh, top of the liquid distillery. Uh, I don't know if that's a, an error or uh, or what, but uh, maybe Rake will see this and say, oh, well, that's not working right. Let's grab an empty bucket. Ugh, how can I misspell bucket? You see, you can't bucket things out of there either. So, I mean, I guess we could use fluid ducts. But I feel like fuel lines should work. But anyway, as you can see, this uh, this produces liquid ethanol. Um, you can run it through the fluid crystallizer now, as of version 25, uh, to turn that into ethanol crystals. And then the same thing with the uh, biofuel from... Come on. Mine factory reloaded. Dump it in, and you get ethanol out. But remember, you got to put twice as much biofuel in as ethanol that you get out. So there you go. So if you prefer using other uh, methods of producing uh, ethanol in other mods, go ahead and do it, and then use the liquid distillery to uh, turn it into uh, Rotorcraft uh, ethanol. So yeah, see, there's always multiple ways of doing things. There you go. I gotta figure out how to get the stuff out of there. I'm sure you can use fluid ducts. No, I'd actually put that there. Give this a whack get a pneumatic servo, and ugh, I always do that. Boink. Just chuck it. Yeah, so you can obviously use fluid ducts to pull it out of here, but um, I'm not sure why uh, fuel lines won't connect. I mean, y you do, you can run, you can, cr the fact that you can create ethanol in this machine makes me think you should be able to connect fuel lines to it. Um, maybe, it, I don't know. But anyway, as we can see, we can just pipe the ethanol out. And, uh, yeah, so pump fluids in the side, 
that you want to process, and then the uh, product comes out the top. That's the liquid distillery. Pretty cool. So that's the two machines we're talking about. We're talking about today. So that's it for this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, we'll, they'll, we'll have more uh, rotary craft coming up um, very soon, as well as uh, something extra special uh, uh, in a not too distant future. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe today. Even I don't know. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, stay tuned for the future episodes. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.